Hi guys and welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry and this video is going to be a bit of a sort of catch up. It's to another video I made a while ago. It was on the hover bar for the Apple iPad by Southwest. Now you can probably see how my uh, iPad here is floating. Uh, I'll just sort of bring it to the side. It's that bar here. It's a hover bar. Um, I've done a review on it. It is absolutely fantastic. It is an awesome purchase. Watch the video. I'll put the link at the bottom of the description in this video, which this video is about how to get this working as a dual screen, which you see here. Okay, so this is the app that I'm using. And well, actually, I haven't shown you the app yet. Sorry, <laughs> getting excited ahead of myself. What I want to show you is if you notice, I've got the Apple cable here. Okay, so I'm running from the iPad the cable system. It's not run off Wi Fi. Why? Okay, first, because if I'm not at home and I don't have access to Wi-Fi, it can be troublesome, okay? I wanted to have a cable system, plus it always keeps my iPad charged because it's using the battery from here. That can be a plus and a minus thing, but for me, it's worked wonderful. The app that we're using that I want to show you on how to run these as a dual display is called Duet. Now, you just pretty much go into the App Store here and tap in Search. D-U-E-T, Duet, I hope that's how it's pronounced, if not, please forgive me. <laughs> Here we are, and it says, it's really actually called Duet Display, but if you put Duet, it comes up. And I need to update it, I've already got it, okay, I'm just showing you guys here, and gals. So pretty much this is everything in here, it's got all the info on it. Um, I can't really tell you how much I paid for it because I've already got it. I think it was, I don't know, sorry guys, you'll have to check that yourself. Um, just download it and get it onto your iPad. Once you've got it on your iPad, you pretty much have the app right here, that's what it looks like. Now, just to bring up Firefox, when you're looking for it, you can just go into Google really and put Duet display look it even comes up d-u-e-t and basically just display after it d-i-s-p-l-a-y hit enter and it will bring it up as you can tell I've been here before it is awesome this is so wonderful and here it is and this is the best part I didn't realize you can get it for PC as well how awesome is that <laughs> I mean you know for the PC users I'm happy for them <laughs> but um it's, you know, Mac download, PC download. Now, from what I understand, it's free to download off, off their website to put it onto your operating system, being Mac or PC. Now, I won't download it because I've already got it. Um, so that's the simple way of how it works. Now, let's get it fired up so you can see. All you've got to do pretty much, you go into your apps, and there's a little icon up here, actually. Do it. And... As you can see here, it's already running. So I pretty much just sort of, let me bring it up. See, there's the icon over here. Do it. Pretty much hit that, and it'll be up and running. I already had it up and running anyway. And here, all you do is simply just tap on the Duet icon or the app and launching Duet, and that's basically it. And what I'll do is, it actually brings up the icon at the bottom here. Can you see that? I mean, that's insane. Look, a wonderful little app, and that's what I love about it, that there isn't, relatively much lag at all like if I open up a window so I open up this okay and I try to drag it over here and I stretch out my screen as well I can open up a second window and I'll just go bring my mouse over to this side click here control new and it should let me drag that window over sorry guys I'm working on top of the camera which is a bit awkward Oop. one thing I forgot to mention you've got to go into your system preferences and you've got to go to displays and you'll have a look at the arrangement see how it's arranged pretty much so you need to sort of drag this down make it sort of semi level as you can see there now it should let me drag it over with greater ease I was trying to drag it over and it was too high up so there we go Ta -da. so make sure that you do that if you get this app a really great app it's just wonderful if you have any questions please post them in the comments I'll be putting a link at the bottom of this video showing you the hover bar review that I did and the setup that I've got the really cool thing about this is guys that 
when I'm away from home, I can just take this thing with me here. Okay, if I haven't got my hover bar with me, I can pop this in my bag. Like if you're at uni or, or school, you can take this with you, right? And you can basically just put the iPad in that and it connects via just your cable. There's no extra other batteries. It's sort of self-feeding and powering. You've got the battery running here, you've got a battery here, and you've got you've got a dual display that's portable. Think about that. It's amazing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, sorry, I did my best. What else can I say? Share me. Social media. Give me some love out there, you know, Facebook, Google+, Twitter. That's pretty much about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.